WCCO 4 News at 5 starts right now. This week, Green Mill is installing carbon monoxide detectors in all of its restaurants across the country. And that move comes after a leak in the Twin Cities sent nearly 30 people to the hospital this weekend. Green Mill says a water heater that was being serviced at this restaurant in Shoreview caused that carbon monoxide leak on Saturday. And as Sue Turner shows us tonight, a new device that detects CO poisoning might help some people stay out of the ER. Firefighters keep fighting fires if they don't look like they've been affected by carbon monoxide. The Rainbow Rad 57 made by Massimo will let them know for sure. See, now you're, you're one, so. This device tests the amount of CO in your bloodstream by putting a sensor on your ring finger. In fewer than 30 seconds, infrared light produces a number. One to three is normal, five to ten means treatment is needed. It's something that may have made a difference at the Green Mill Saturday. Had they had a device like this, they may have been able to uh, test right at the scene and triage people uh, differently. Instead, people went to the hospital in rounds as they felt symptoms. Eventually, paramedics sent anyone who had any sign of carbon monoxide poisoning just to be safe. The device was used with success in New York. A school exposed to CO put 80 kids at risk. Instead of monopolizing the ER, the RAD 57 determined only one student needed to be treated at the hospital. Anything that's non-invasive and that can cause less pain to someone is, is an ideal uh, tool. As a nurse, Heidi Heisler says she sees the RAD 57 becoming a standard for every ambulance. Sue says the device costs between three to four thousand dollars. So far, only two agencies in Minnesota have bought it, but Hennepin County Medical Center has applied for a grant to get one.